Former Democratic State Representative Rochelle Galindo is not going to face charges of sexual assault. She resigned earlier this month and she was saying that false accusations against her would make it difficult to fight the recall that she was facing. Well, today, Greeley Police provided the report that explains why Galindo was being investigated in the first place. Our politics guy, Marshall Zellinger, went up to Greeley, got that report, read it, and learned, Marshall, how another reporter played a role in getting this Galindo investigation going. Kyle, ever since Mother's Day, when Galindo resigned, we knew she was facing an investigation of sexual assault, but we didn't know what the specifics were or how it even came to be. And today I met with the reporter who got a tip that started all of this. And I want to show you a portion of what that tip looked like. A reporter with Complete Colorado, which is a right-leaning online publication, received this text message. It starts, this is strictly unverified information at this point, and I don't want my name to get out as your source. It then gave that unverified information about former Representative Rochelle Galindo that was investigated by Greeley Police. It ended with, can you hire an investigator? Well, that reporter, Sherry Pife, who is from Greeley, passed this tip to two other people, including a city council person who took it and the girl to the police. I'm a reporter. You're a reporter. Right. You get a tip. Is it appropriate to hand that tip to a council person? It I mean, yeah, I guess if it's a person that you that you trust and that you think knows the inside of the story, because I don't see that council person is a 30 year old friend of mine. It's not a I didn't hand it to the council person because they were a council person. I handed it to the council person because they knew the players and they knew the people involved and they could give me an answer if there was an answer to give. The fact that I've become part of this story is really frustrating for me because it's getting made to be political when what it's about is two girls who are underage who claim that there was something wrong that was done and that's what people should be focusing on. As far as I know, and there are a lot of heavy redactions, one of the report one of the reports involves a girl and police were investigating whether or not uh, there was any sexual assault by the representative. Another report filed after that, which Galindo was cited for, was providing alcohol to a minor. So Kyle, we're starting to get some clarity as to what happened and Galindo still has not responded to this. So She's out of office. Her fellow Democrats will fill the seat, but all she's going to have to contend with legally is that a charge about providing alcohol to a minor. Correct. That's, that's, that's it after all this. All right. Marshall Zellinger, thank you.